Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this project, we will simulate a storage tank containing TCM, i.e. base changing material. Base change materials or PCM are substances with inorganic or organic compounds that can absorb and store a large amount of latent heat energy. Thermal energy storage in these materials is also obtained during the process of phase change, solid phase to liquid, so that when the phase changes from solid to liquid, it absorbs heat from the environment. When the liquid to solid phase change happens, it returns heat to the environment. Of course, latent heat in phase change material is obtained from the three solid 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 liquid and solid gas phase modes. But since in solid gas state, much heat or pressure is required and in the solid solid state, the process is very slow, so most of the phase change materials are in the solid liquid state. These PCMs have a variety of melting or solidification temperature and are therefore used in cooling and heating systems. For example, these materials absorb the solar heat on hot days. The latent heat is absorbed and then returned to the environment again in the cool night by the phase changing and the solidification process. The present problem simulates the performance of phase change materials in a storage tank. These PCMs are a set of spherical shapes inside the interior of a vertical cylinder storage tank. The function of these PCMs is that the water flow from the inlet pipe located at the top of the tank enters the internal space with a velocity of 0.1 meter per second and a temperature of 343 Kelvin. Then the water flow comes out of the upper part of the tank Due to the fact that the nature of PCM of the present model is based on the phase change between two solid and liquid phases, the solidification and melting model has been used for this simulation. In this project, we will simulate a storage tank containing PCM, i.e. phase changing material. The geometry of this model is three-dimensional and is designed using design modeler software. The present model includes a vertical cylinder as a storage tank with two narrow tubes at the top of the cylinder for inlet and outlet of the water flow. Also, for meshing the present model, the ANSYS meshing software is used. The mesh type is unstructured and the element number is equal to 757,886. By clicking on the check dialog box, you will see that in the console tab, the Fluent software will start to check your mesh and geometry for any errors. In the solidification and melting setting, we enable the solidification and melting model. Also, in the parameters section, in front of the Mushi zone parameter, we select constant and we set the value as you can see in the window. Now, the Mushi zone constants measure the amplitude of the damping. The higher this value, the steeper the transition of the velocity of the material to zero as it solidifies. Very large values may cause the solution to oscillate. This time, by clicking on PCM, another window will appear. Just like the previous slip, in front of the material name section, we select paraffin this time. Also, under the thermal tab, you will see that the thermal condition of this boundary is set to be coupled which means that this wall is, on, is in contact with two fluids on its both sides. We may also change the under relaxation factor. These factors may be between 0 and 1. Based on the simulation and the project we are doing, we may change this under relaxation factor. But remember that the values set in here are the recommended values for the pro project and we highly recommend you to not change these values. There are two ways to check that your uh, simulation process have reached convergence. Alongside the checking the residuals or reaching and nearing the zero, you may define some report to make sure that an equation have reached convergence. 
For example, by just right-clicking on the report definition, going on the new, you are able to choose between different reports. For example, you can define a mass flow rate report on a arbitrary boundary based on your geometry and your simulation. You are able to see whether this mass flow has reached a constant value or not. If yes, it may be a sign that your simulation has reached convergence, but the residual must be checked as well. In this section, contours of pressure, velocity, temperature, and velocity vectors are extracted and presented to you using CFD Post software. Now, in this 3D pressure contour, you can see the pressure distribution inside PCM materials. You can obviously see how the pressure builds up inside the PCM material as the high temperature flow gets inside the tank and make the PCM material to melt. Now in this contour you can easily see the high temperature of water liquid entering the storage tank. Now in order to see the 3D velocity contours just like the previous slip you just have to change the variable from temperature to velocity. Now as it was mentioned in the report definition section, we had defined a report on the mass liquid fraction of the PCM materials. When you start the software simulation, you can see that a new window will appear in the software showing you the changes of liquid mass fraction based on time changing. This is how the report would seem when you click on calculate button. You can obviously see when the time progress the liquid mass fraction increases which is because the PCM material start to melt. Finally a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at